200 million shares on loan, and in one day, it goes from 100% utilization to 91%. You are telling me that overnight, 20 million shares suddenly became available to lend. Well, well, well. It has been two years, and utilization has not moved from 100% over on Ortex, and now it dropped to 91.14%. Whether this is an Ortex glitch or not, there is absolutely no way possible that this could have dropped from 100 to 90 one percent especially overnight especially on amc what you're looking at here right now overnight is 20 million shares pulled out of thin air that are available uh, that are available to borrow against the stock that are not currently lent out yet now antera is buddies with city who has been short amc my guess is that antera has been selling millions of shares to other shorts who have been trapped needing real shares to cover an exit People have forgotten that dilution in the wrong hands hurts squeeze potential. Now, we know Intera doesn't necessarily own AMC, they own a lot of ape. However, could this be institutions potentially letting go of AMC that we're not seeing yet and dropping the utilization? Or recalling shares that are already lent out, thus dropping the utilization, preparing for something big to come? Or brokers? There are several different reasons this could possibly be. Now, short interest currently sitting at 23.99%. Of course, this isn't going to reflect the same day as utilization, but the shares on loan is still above 200 million shares on loan. With that being said, it must have been something to do with shareholders letting go of shares. However, if we go over to AMC's chart, let's take a look at the on-balance volume. Have 20 million shares been let go overnight? Absolutely not, okay? On-balance volume has not dropped 20 million shares overnight. It has not dropped 20 million shares ever, okay? On-balance volume has stayed high. Was there more shares issued? Did Adam Aaron, did the board just dilute AMC in the past day, past two days? No, none of this happened. So uh, until there's an explanation, I don't really know what to say here. All I know is over the past two years, now is the first time we're seeing the data shift. We posted a video yesterday. We're seeing new data that we have not seen yet shift and hit AMC. On top of that, we are on the threshold securities list for the second day now, and we might potentially be on it after today as well, Tuesday, after the market closes, we will see uh, when that does happen. Now, to cover the rest of this, cost of borrow average on AMC, 383%, and the max at 574. So this is a major jump overnight, yet more shares are available to borrow, but it's becoming more risky to borrow. None of this is really making sense in my eyes. As for APE, 4.89% short interest, utilization at 38%, and the cost of borrow still not being reported over on Ortex. Now, as they continue to try and delay, 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 and get people to oppose the settlement, it's odd that they're not pushing people to oppose the monies that could be paid to plaintiffs on top of the settlement. Or is it not odd? This lawsuit has been trying to be delayed, 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 but there's nobody opposing or objecting to the plaintiffs getting paid through the settlement. It's more so the reverse split and the conversion trying to object. And these are somewhat well-known people in the AMC community putting through some of these objections. Now, before we get into AMC's chart, a little sprinkle on top, BBBYQ, the over-the-counter BBBY play, is now up 115% in four days. Probably nothing, but it's up 700% from the bottom to today. Also, probably nothing. Are you guys playing Bed Bath & Beyond? Or are you not risking an over-the-counter play? And does this point out that the small, mid-cap, high, short-interest plays are about to rip following Bed Bath & Beyond? You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, another thing to point out about the utilization, that there's all of these shares that are available to borrow now. Stocko Tracker is also not reporting that. Zero shares available to borrow over on AMC. And it's also reporting a major, major jump from the 197% to 274% cost to borrow. So the on-balance volume looking good as well. People have not let go of their shares. AMC currently trading at $4.06. We're sitting around this bottom, relative bottom, right around $3.80. I would watch for a sell-off to there if the SPY wants to sell off even further. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But notice AMC has these accumulation phases. You saw one down here before the rip in January, and then you saw one right here before the rip in March of 2021. This little phase right here where AMC is sort of basing off of, and you're seeing it happen again. This base, the rip, slight base rip and now we are basing again at this level poising for another rip higher especially with the data changes this is going to be an interesting run probably different than the other ones that we have seen over the past two years now gamestop 
$23.27. This thing sold off and it's tracking how the S&P 500 trades. But what I want you to know is volume increased a tiny bit on the sell off yesterday on June 26th, but the volume is getting dry. It's getting very, very, very dry. But since it broke out of this technical wedge, right after it filled the gap, it was supposed to base and break back through people started saying, okay, it broke out of the technical wedge that we were looking at. So we are just going to go short on this. Now that's probably why you saw volume pick up now of course no the obv doesn't change nothing changes with this and with it i think small mid cap plays are going to rip very very soon as for gamestop if it does want to sell off even further i would watch 22 dollars 32 and if it does want to break higher i would watch 23 dollars 95 those are the two levels we are watching overall gamestop's options chain still looking very very bullish looking solid solid going forward gamestop looking beautiful it just needs more volume and it needs a trend now guys real quick please join the discord the link is under the video you guys will not regret it and i want to talk with you on the daily i'm in there all the time so you can basically talk to me whenever you want and i also post my trades as soon as i take them so there are a ton of upsides and a ton of benefits to doing that we also have options trading alerts in there and we talk stocks all day long with the most amazing people so surround yourself with people who want to make money in the stock market just like you plus if you're a beginner or advanced trader there are so many people in there that will answer your questions and bounce things back and forth also guys on the threshold list you will see ticker symbol ai c3 ai something may be happening with this stock as well and you can get it for free if you use my link download moomoo Moo, and make a deposit of a hundred dollars you're getting a guaranteed free c3 ai stock but not only that plus a hundred dollars back so you're getting two hundred dollars that you can withdraw plus that forty dollar free c3 ai stock that is on the threshold securities list that could be potentially making a move very very soon plus you're getting up to five free stocks on top of that now if you deposit even more than a hundred you're getting a ton more benefits including a potential free tesla stock but make sure to go do that before june is over you have three days left and it takes about two days to get your money to go through so use that link right now as you're watching the video it takes two minutes those links are right under the video in the top of the description as well as pinned in the top of comments s p 500 trading at 433 dollars up 0.36 percent on the day we broke below the support level we came back up and tested it and it looks like the spy is going to break even lower as there is very very little volume so far today and the current trend is down I would watch this trend line for a bounce right around 425. And then I would also watch that gap fill at 423. That is going to be a hard gap fill to the downside. I think the SPY will eventually come base at 422 before ripping again, potentially 420. I think 420 is, an, is a level that the SPY has to accumulate at, at least for longer than it did before just breaking right out of it. I think it has to come down and use it as support before breaking even higher. Now, Citadel's new plans to enter the bond market market due to the hedge funds long history of market manipulation make retail very very skeptical in quote citadel securities has announced plans to enter the corporate bond market this year in a surprise play for one of the few areas of the market that it does not already dominate are you guys worried about this i would be worried about this and i think they are going to launch soon end of 2023 or 2024 entering into the bond market now speaking of citadel speaking of briberies because we talked about how Ken Griffin bribes through quote unquote donations, meet James Biden, brother of President Joe Biden. He was given a $1.5 billion construction contract in Iraq, and he has zero construction experience, and MSM ignored this story. The Biden crime family is much deeper than you think. And since we're on that topic, Hunter Biden deducted payments to prostitute sex club from his taxes. Also to close out the video, another one, HSBC, one of the largest banks in the world, warns a U.S session is coming this year so is the spy bull market just another fake out push to the upside and are you going are we going to see another crash down but even harder us another one joining the crypto wave 4.2 trillion dollar asset manager fidelity to file for spot bitcoin etf we have been talking about a few crypto plays in discord so make sure to pop in the discord keep your eyes on riot mara bitcoin and ethereum overall guys that is what i got for you for today's video hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video i also forgot at all to ask you to hit the like button but please if you found value out of the video hit the like button join the family hit that subscribe button have post notifications on i love you all lottery socks out